Hi, I'm Elena Fisher, and I'm here with Carol Good Elliott, who has been a longtime attendee of Assembly and works at Mary Lee Environmental Learning Center with me, where we are right now. And as we get to know modern day prophets here at Assembly, we imagine how we can help create the kingdom of God that will be a new world. And this week, we are exploring how God calls us to be in community with nature. And so thank you, Carol, for being with me and to talk about um, all these different ways that we are imagining the new world. And the first question that I have is, do you think God has called you to help create a new world where we live uh, in community with nature? That's a, that's a very interesting question for me because I often am not sure what a call from God would be like necessarily. But I do feel it's very important for me to try and help other people feel a connection with the world around them that we're a part of, that we're not separate from. Um, and so that's what I've been doing most of my life. How have you been doing that? <laughs> <laughs> um, growing up, certainly, I was doing that a lot for myself, just spending time outdoors. Um, and spending time outdoors with adults who were important to me in mentoring me in that. For the last many years now, I've been doing that with other people as well, and doing taking children outside especially, um, people of all ages, but especially focusing on children and getting children outside to explore and to learn that it's okay to be outside and they can have fun and it's safe and cool and helping them make connections outdoors. Yeah, so in all of these years of experience mm -hmm. and even looking forward, what do you think God hopes for us in our relationship with nature? I think um, gratitude, a sense of gratitude for what all the world holds, gratitude for how all the pieces fit together and also an awareness that we are one of the pieces, not, again, something that's separate from the rest of the world somehow, that we're not a part of nature, that it's out there and we're not. In the scripture from Jeremiah that we read this week, it gives an image that we rely on humans alone and dismiss God. And we will become plants uh, out of touch with the earth and live rootless and aimless. Uh, what do you think plants and other creatures in nature teach us about becoming rooted and trusting God? Well, certainly the plants and the animals are rooted in living their lives. They're doing what they are made to do and are growing as they are made to grow and designed to grow and living as they're designed to live. And I think that's an important reminder for us, too, to pay attention to how we as humans are designed to fit and connect with everything else around us. Paying attention to what's happening seasonally around us, to mm -hmm. becoming settled into the places where we're living and getting to know the places where we're living not just yearning to be somewhere else that is somehow more beautiful or wonderful than where we think we are now. Mm -hmm. um, settling into a learning about the other, all the other living beings around us and how we have an impact on them in whatever all we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is difficult about Realizing this this relationship and this role, um, it can be difficult to stay hopeful in it. Um, mm -hmm. It can be difficult to uh, yeah, to stay hopeful in it when I see so many shifts and changes happening related to climate change, for example, in in my lifetime. Moving forward, trying to help. Others find a sense of hope and joy and recognition and a love for the places that they are. How do you think assembly can help create a 
a new kingdom of God that will create a new world. I appreciate how people from assembly are continuing to advocate for um, creation care in a whole host of ways. Um, are are seeking to find ways to live their own lives more in harmony and connection with the land and the places around them, um, and also putting the energy into doing advocacy work around that as well. So I think there, there are a lot of day-to-day -day things that all of us can do to help pay attention to that piece of creating a new world. Mm -hmm. This is a very wonderful conversation, but I gotta ask and end it on, sure. like you mentioned, it's hard to find hope and, and optimism, so what is something fun that you've done outside recently? Mm -hmm. Well, the most recent fun thing I've done outside was yesterday, even, here at Mary Lee, spending an hour and a half outside playing in the snow with four and five-year-olds and watching their joy at um, turning into deer and making deer beds in the snow and making snow angels and digging tunnels and noticing, oh, look, Miss Carol, the snow looks like sequins. Mm. Things like that. Yeah. That's a joyful thing. It's very joyful. Thank you, Carol. You're welcome.